What's up guys, how you doing and welcome to a new player review here on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Let's take a look at one of the new legends on this game, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. So, the Norwegian striker who most famously played for Manchester United for many years has an 86 rated item on FIFA 17. He is of course a striker with 83 pace, 81 dribbling and 86 shooting. He's got 3 star skill moves. Four star weak foot and high medium work rates. Now, the first option for a team around this guy is uh, mostly Manchester United side with a couple of different players in there as well. Of course, Solskjaer is well known for being that super sub for Man United across the years. Uh, and I thought it might be nice to put him alongside some of their current teammates today. Uh, other players in the squad are Butland, Coutinho and Mares. However, the team I actually used him in was this 4-3-2-1 hybrid side. It features players from three different leagues. We've got the Turkish League featuring players such as Inform Karesma. Uh, we've also got the Spanish League with Pepe at centre-back. And then the Premier League as well with the likes of Paul Pogba and the player of the month, Eden Hazard. Now taking a little look at Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's in-game stats, his attack positioning and his finishing are definitely ones that stand out for me. Of course, most of his stats across the board will go up slightly if you play him on that default basic chemistry style in a full chem team. However, I thought why not just go all out on this striker and stick a hunter chemistry style on him. I want him to be as quick as possible and to have the most deadly shooting possible uh, because after one or two games of playing him on the basic, I realised that actually his dribbling was good enough for me. I didn't want to boost that in any area. Uh, so let's just focus on that shooting and pace. And the hunter card certainly delivered because we had a really good time using this new legend on FIFA 17. I scored lots and lots of goals and I was really impressed with this low rated legend on the game. So let's talk about his pros and cons then, shall we? And as always, we'll get the negatives out of the way first. Uh, of course, firstly, his skill moves are very uh, basic. You know, he only has the three-star skills, so the maximum you're going to really be able to do is a roulette here and there. Uh, in my opinion, I would rather just go with the LTRT and the no-touch dribbling in this situation because I don't really find skill moves like the roulette to be that useful. Uh, and of course, he can't quite do the chops at his stage. Uh, his balance and agility are also what I would say, yeah, bang average. You know, they're in the 70s. They're nothing special. Um, so sometimes he might feel sluggish. Sometimes he feels okay. But he's definitely not a super agile player. Uh, and then also, like most of the legends, stamina becomes a bit of an issue. Uh, because after around the 60th minute, he seems to tire out quite a lot and with that you lose a lot of that overall pace and even that acceleration which is one of the best parts about him. Speaking of which that is definitely one of the best parts about him in that first 60 minutes of gameplay. Uh, he is really really quick off the mark especially with the hunter chemistry style. He does dip a little bit in the overall sprint speed but um, getting up to speed is one of his positives. Also his positioning and reactions are superb. EA have really recreated Ole Gunnar Solskjaer well. He was that striker that almost came on as a super sub and was there at the right place at the right time to score that really important goal. And that's the case with him. I, I really found that to be true on FIFA 17. His ball control, as I said earlier, was decent and his dribbling was good as well. Uh, and then, well, the final two positives are uh, wrapped up into one, really. They're basically about his shooting. I particularly liked uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's long shots. Now, I typically wouldn't have um, said that he was that sort of player that was ever going to score me a long shot. I'm thinking, Solskjaer, he's a, he's a fox in the box. He's a poacher. He's going to score me those goals from six yard outs, the tap-ins, the rebounds, that sort of thing. But I scored one or two really, really nice goals from outside of the box, which I was surprised with. He's also good at this little near post header from a corner, a great little technique from corners. And I seem to score three or four goals with him in this situation. And then his overall finishing is just great. With the Hunter card, he does go up to 99 finishing in game, which is exactly what I wanted. And as a legend, he feels much higher rated than an 86 overall in game. He played outstandingly well for me and was a great goal scorer scorer and also a relatively decent hold up striker as well. I would definitely recommend him. He's one of the cheaper strikers out there and if you do use him I'd love to know your thoughts on him down below in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you next time guys. Peace.